automation is a key in cybersecurity operations. Knowledge of automation tools and most importantly, how to use them in practice are essential for landing a job in cybersecurity operation centers. You will learn Ansible, an open source automation tool, and how to use it for deploying automation security tasks such as configuration management and policy checking in this video. Let's dive in. Ansible is a free tool that could be installed in all operating systems. It's agentless, meaning you only need to install it on your machine and run automated tasks toward multiple remote systems. Ansible uses SSH as a connection protocol to connect to remote nodes. It's easy to learn and use. You can run your first automated task by just watching this video. Let's start by installing Ansible. For macOS, use Homebrew to install Ansible. In Windows, you can install it via Windows subsystem for Linux, which I am showing in this video. For Linux, use the same command to install the Ansible. First step, as always, update the system. App get update. Next, install prerequisites and then Ansible repository. When it's completed, Run the update command again to update repositories. Now we can install Ansible with app get install Ansible or just app install Ansible. To check Ansible installation, run Ansible dash dash version. We have Ansible installed in our system. Let's create a folder ansible-test. Next step is to create Ansible components. The first step is creating Ansible inventory. Ansible inventory is a file in YAML or any style that defines a collection of nodes or hosts managed by Ansible. Location of the inventory managed by Ansible configuration file. The command ansible dash dash versions shows which configuration file is in used. Let's create inventory file for our test. Nano inventory .txt. In the inventory file, add the host group in square brackets. In each line, add host name, ansible host IP address, and the ansible user. Save the content and exit the file. Another Ansible component is an Ansible configuration file. Ansible configuration file contains the Ansible settings such as path to the inventory. Ansible look for config file in current directory, user home directory, and the default location is etc Ansible, Ansible CFG, which is a configuration file for Ansible. In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple Ansible configuration file in our current directory. Nano Ansible.cfg. First line in the file, use a square bracket and write defaults. Next line, inventory equal and pass to the inventory which is our current directory so it's current directory inventory.txt save and exit the configuration file are you ready to run our first automated task with ansible we can run ansible ad hoc for quick tests ansible ad hoc is a simple one line operations useful for quick changes such as a start or a stop services check user existence and software version installed in remote host. For Ansible ad hoc, we write Ansible. We select the group of hosts we want to run the Ansible ad hoc command against them. Dash M is a module and then we put the module name after it. Let's ping all hosts in the group AWS. Ansible AWS dash M ping. Voila! 
we get connected to our remote host and run our first automated task. Ad hoc, run one single task for us, which is good. But for automating multiple tasks, we need to use Ansible Playbook. Ansible Playbook is a YAML file containing a list of one or more tasks to run in a specific order against host within inventory. Playbook simplifies complex administrator tasks into repeatable routines with predictable and successful outcomes. Let's create Ansible Playbook to check security configuration. First, check SSH root login and password authentication in the SSH configuration file and print the status. Second, Check the firewall rules using IP tables command and print them. Third, add user cyber guide and check its existence. And fourth, restart the node and check its uptime after rebooting. Let's run a playbook towards server one. In a command line, write ansible-playbook-i and specify inventory file, in our case inventory.txt, dash l limit to the server one, and then playbook.yaml. Now we run all the checks towards server one. and all been successful.